everybody, it's The Law and Gnome, and I'm coming to you with a DCAU update. It's not actually a update in regards to a brand new DCAU film. This week is the release of the Dark Knight Returns Deluxe Edition. Now, you probably have seen my reviews of The Dark Knight Returns Parts 1 and 2, which were two phenomenal films that pretty much broke the entire story into two pieces, and now... Through the magic of combining and digital wizardry, we now have the Deluxe Edition, which is a three-disc, Blu-ray, and DVD set separately, or a DVD-Blu-ray combo pack, which is the two parts in one movie, the special features that were featured on the separate two installments, as well as a documentary about Robin in The Dark Knight Returns, which is Carrie Kelly, the first female Robin, a documentary piece on the Joker, and probably the part that gets everybody into interested in buying this DVD or Blu-ray is the 70-minute documentary of Frank Miller and bringing this story to life from comic books all the way to the animated film from the DCAU group. Now, I actually found out that Best Buy Chains had an exclusive option to purchase this DVD a week before its release, which is this week. And I have to say, I was not too fond of it. And I actually ended up giving it to one of my very good friends. And the reason why is because I guess you could say I'm really interested in consistency, especially with the DCU films that I love. They didn't include the preview segments that are included in every DCAU DVD, which gives you a preview for the next film, so those are gone. And I also kind of felt that this movie was a little too much to handle, and also I think that it took away from the beauty of the first part, which is parts one and two. Because when you finish the Dark Knight Returns Part 1, the way it ends, it's like you're just so excited for the second part because it ends so well and you're just anticipating popping in that next DVD to see how it all unfolds and now that you officially have that part with this whole movie as a whole, and it's a very long movie, it's 2 hours and 27 minutes, so just having it go all the way through was, I think, a little overwhelming for me. Not that it wasn't bad, I mean, I'm sure that you guys, if you're DCAU and Dark Knight Returns Batman purists, you'll love this movie as a whole, but hey, look, we all have different preferences, and I really just liked them as separate, because I think that it just made each part its own beautiful piece of art. And that's where I'm going to stand with this. So I'm keeping my parts one and two. I'm going to keep them the way that they are. I really don't think I could see myself watching the additional special features, especially a 70-minute documentary. Not that there's anything wrong with it. It was actually a great documentary. But I'll stick with what I have. So guys, give me your thoughts. Did you like the Deluxe Edition if you went out and purchased it this week or probably the week before because of Best Buy? Or would you rather just stick with parts one and two? And the other thing is, I now know that alongside Justice League War, we're going to have two more Batman animated films. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting really sick of these animated Batman films. Don't get me wrong, once again, I love the fact that Batman has some of the most richest stories in the DC comic world, but I want more heroes. I am getting real sick and tired of Batman and Superman animated films. Do you agree or do you disagree? I'll catch you guys later. Actions speak louder than words.